4th of July celebration turned into a horrific day for a family today. It's a very tough story, as well as those who witnessed what happened. Andrea Lucia is live for us tonight, Rockledge Park on Lake Grapevine with what unfolded late this afternoon. Andrea. Uh, Doug, there were a lot of people out here today wanting to celebrate, and some of them ended up being witnesses to this tragedy. With uh, this teenager's death today, uh, Grapevine firefighters say they have now seen two drownings on this lake this year, and a third case, a close call, where the victim managed to be resuscitated. Cell phone video shows the scene as boats and divers search Grapevine Lake for a missing teen. That's so painful. Um, I cannot handle it. Robert I'm Funes was at Rockledge it. Park with his family when 17-year-old Alberto Santos first arrived with his mother and friends. Minutes after they entered the water, he heard cries for help. I thought it was one of my kids. When, when, when they started looking for help, I thought it was my, one of my children. He ran to the lake and was told the teen had dived under the water and disappeared. Grapevine firefighters arrived, and as minutes ticked away, a crowd at the shoreline watched them canvas the water. Oh, my wife tried to... Uh, support uh, his mom, but this like they were so devastated. Estaba desconsolada. She was Pensar inconsolable, says Araceli Portillo. It took nearly an hour to recover Santos, who was declared dead at a local hospital. Oh, we feel sorry for the people, for the family. The teen's death marks the second drowning at Rockledge Park since Memorial Day weekend in a lake that averages just over four drownings a year. With summer far from over, the city is asking those at the lake to be safe and wear a life jacket. Firefighters say the teen who died today was not wearing a life jacket. The family we spoke to said they were planning to stick around for the fireworks, but after witnessing so much grief today, couldn't bear to. Reporting live in Grapevine, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News. Can't blame them. Andrea, thank you so very much. Thoughts with that family tonight. Also, this afternoon on Lake Grapevine, a woman was hurt. We found out badly hurt by a boat propeller. The Grapevine Fire Department says that she has major injuries. After that prop struck her in a leg, she was taken to a local hospital. That's all the info we have on her as of tonight.